Okay, so very easy question. We've got a piece of copper, which is a type of metal, and we are gonna shine five, uh, we're gonna shine a light bulb. Okay, and that light is gonna shine. And each of these photons has five joules. They told us that the light has five joules. Now, the work function is 3.8. What that means is that if you have um, electrons over here, and you've got your protons, if you would like to remove one of the electrons, you're going to have to break this little bond over here. And to do that, you would need 3.8 joules of energy because that is the work function. And so do you guys think that we will be able to remove an electron? Well, yes. It says, will an electron be emitted? Yes, because we can see that the energy is five and the work function is 3.8. It says at B, if so, determine the energy that the emitted electron will have. Well, we can say that the energy coming in is equal to the work function plus the kinetic energy. And so that's going to be five equals to 3.8 plus the kinetic energy. And so the kinetic energy will be five minus 3.8. And so the kinetic energy will be 1.2 joules. The last question for tonight Determine the speed of the electron. Okay, so we know that EK is equal to a half MV squared. So we know that the M is the electron's mass, which is 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31. And so we can say that the kinetic energy is going to be 1.2, then the mass, and then the velocity squared. And so now we just need to get the velocity squared by itself. And so that would be 1.2 divided by a half times by 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31. And so that's going to give us 2.634. And then there's a whole long number times 10 to the power of 30. And then to get the velocity by itself, you're going to take the square root and so the final answer will be 1.62 times 10 to the power of 15 meters per second.